Buying coins and getting banned are not a good combo. If you boys don't want to get banned and want cheap, fast, and reliable coins, hit up my sponsor, AOEAH. Use code Monty at checkout and DM me for the tips to not get banned, boys. What is going on, YouTube? And welcome back to another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. What to do in Madden 23 Ultimate Team right now. Boys, I actually have a lot to talk about in this video. And that is to do with coins. That is to do with coin quick sells that is to do with trading that is to do with solos that is to do with literally everything so boys before we get to this video boys if you guys do need coins hit up my sponsor aoeh 18 dollars if you use code monty for playstation 1 million coins guys super easy and go to the link in the description below and use code monty and boys if you don't want to get banned buying coins hit me up i got some tips for you let's get into this video so we always start off with the field passes the solos we always start off with that stuff so we're not we're not not going to start off with it today so we always say it's season three field pass boys guys if you want to level up in the season three field pass what you got to do is you got to level up in the competitive you got to level up in the gridiron guardians you got to level up in the super bowl and the playoffs all of these will give you a bunch of free xp how do you do it let's go over and look let's go and look together here we go before i do that just want to do one thing really quick all right there we go all right so boys basically you guys see it right here i mean competitive field pass this one just came out today we got brand new xp my first word of advice to you is do these sets right away do these sets right away it's a free 20 cp not only that but you get a mutt wait you get a Mutt Champions token at level 3. This will get you that Mutt Champions token. You could literally start playing Mutt Champions right away. Do these two sets, boys. You'll get to level 20 CP. Or you'll get to level 4 20 CP. And uh, yeah, man. After that, you guys can just grind the Mutt Champions. Grind the Mutt Champions is probably one of the best things you could do in Mutt. This will get you so many rewards. Well, not so many rewards, but this will level you up quick in the competitive field pass. It'll get you all the competitive field pass rewards. So if I were you guys, this is definitely something to go ahead and grind. This is the thing to go ahead and grind. These stats are going to come as you go. And guys, pretty much once you finish all of your mutt champs for this week and next week and get all the stats done all these sets are done if you still need a little bit cp to finish the field pass solo battles or head-to-head -head seasons is definitely the move more solo battles i would say because head-to-head -head seasons man you gotta grind a lot to like get cp in my opinion so solo battles leave it for last if you need and uh that's how you level up with the competitive field pass and also the season three field pass make sure you get your daily objectives done for the season three field pass every single day gridiron guardian too this one's a little bit different and a little bit more tricky specifically because this one you know just came out and you got to do a lot of things to grind it this one basically boys all you're going to be doing is putting two actually not nah, not even you only need one i think right total one yeah all you guys need to do is just put one gridiron guardians two player volume two player in your lineup and just grind your mutt champs doing this will get you your head-to-head -head challenges done it'll get you your stats done and um yeah that's pretty much all to get you but it'll get you those two done that's a lot of free xp to lot level up grinding the solo challenges is obviously one of the main things you should be doing this is easy level up grinding the gridiron guardians volume 2 challenges no things need to be said there and sets as well sets is pretty simple honestly guys you choose the easiest set to do and then uh whenever you're done with all that completed gridiron guardians 2 volume 2 fantasy pack set uh whenever you got the time whenever you got the coins just do this one you know what i mean you don't got to do this asap because we still got more objectives to completely max out we're getting a gridiron guardians volume 2 part 2 this week so you guys understand where i'm going with this so there is how you level up with that and we also have the super bowl and the playoffs for the super bowl and the playoffs grind all of the playoffs or grind all the uh solos for the super bowl and the playoffs uh pretty much the same thing for the playoffs is for the super bowl we're going to talk about it for the objectives man pretty much just put a super bowl player in your lineup and uh, you know just play games you're going to get all these done as you go and like i said the challenges are going to help you level up a lot there's a lot of uh xp for just completing the solo challenges as you guys can see i have a little bit of the way to go i need to get like four more levels uh i really just want to get the 20 xp and the 94 super bowl pack it's pretty much all i really want this right here is useless this right here is actually kind of useful a little bit i'm gonna need that but uh yeah pretty much the same thing i said for the super bowl is the same thing for the playoffs um you know pretty self-explanatory just put a playoff player in your lineup 
and you know challenges you know things like that you know really really simple that is how you level up in all of the fuel passes now we're going to talk about all the solo challenges to play then we're going to talk about the cheapest training to get and then we're going to get into the methods i actually go have for you guys so let's continue into these solos and show you guys which solos to actually go ahead and grind what's the best ones to grind right now if the mad menus didn't take so long maybe i could show you guys that but you know they just have to take forever here we go so boys we have the weekly wild cards this obviously you're gonna have to do i gotta catch up on these you're gonna get a free weekly wild card player in a long time from now but it's gonna be worth it grinding these easy weekly solos so grind it gridiron guardians volume 2 obviously you need this for the xp in the gridiron guardians field pass so go ahead and grind it ultimate legends i really like the ultimate legends challenges because guys not only do you get these free 87 pluses weekly you also get a free ultimate legend from grinding all of the week's ultimate like pretty much the same thing as legends you gotta grind all the challenges and you'll get a bunch of tokens and you go to the set but this time there's actually if you put five tokens in you could get a coin quick sell up to 250k or you can get like an 87 plus depending on how many uh tokens you put in i forget how many tokens you need for that one and you also could just put in like a hundred something for a, a full ultimate legend boss you can also earn these tokens from doing the challenges i think from also doing the sets and from also opening packs it's very easy to get these tokens boys and you can actually get your free boss ultimate legend pretty quickly you don't gotta wait till the end of the promo and not only that guys i know this is true because i was looking at swift's twitter and he has like more than half of his tokens already full so i mean this is pretty cool i think really nice uh addition and i'll show you guys those sets in a little bit um super bowl both of them to play ak new class i mean this is pretty self-explanatory you need the free aka player you need those tokens uh you might as well go ahead and play it so we talked about the new the aka new class the playoffs obviously and um i mean that's pretty much it i mean the legends is pretty outdated a free 95 if you want to play the legends you get a bunch of free training from the legends as well so that's definitely not a bad idea uh team of the week obviously definitely something you want to grind if you want that free team of the year player that also free team of the week and a bunch of free training i mean i would say team of the week is definitely still valid so that is it for the solo challenges make actually team captains as well make sure you get all your team captains tokens make sure you get your team captain player up to a 94 so um best training challenges was definitely the legends definitely the team of the week and uh pretty much just anything you get free cards and items in great iron guardian super bowl playoffs those will all give you things like that and uh, i believe same with the ultimate legends and uh yeah that's gonna be like the new one pretty much it was legends now it's probably gonna be ultimate legends so that is the best trade to get for free now we're gonna talk about the cheapest trading in mutt and the cheapest trading in mutt right now if we head over to mutt.gg is currently 89 overalls but we're gonna go over and i'm gonna show you guys the whole market there here it is um I mean, pretty self-explanatory, man. Uh, if you're trying to buy a lot of trading, buying a 99 overall Patrick Mahomes is not a bad idea. Make sure it is Patrick Mahomes. Tom Brady is not quick sold for trading, boys. Make sure it's Patrick Mahomes. Tom Brady is not eligible for quick sell for trading. So, uh, what I've been buying is straight up 99s and 93s, boys. Get these. Super, super easy to get. Just put in 92 to 93. Put in the program. I usually do Team of the Week, Legends, All Madden, Weekly Wild Card, Redux, Harvest for 92s and 93s and look for 93s for this price or lower 99s i just go straight for patrick mahomes and that is the cheapest trading in the game right now boys you know uh pretty easy pretty easy to go ahead and get that is your trading but let's talk about how to make some coins all right boys time to talk about the methods so here we are so i've been thinking about some methods lately boys my own methods and uh honestly boys you know how they always say the rich get richer boys if you have some coins and you have like a good amount of coins i got you i have some methods for you that can make you some coins honestly boys my methods mainly are methods where you have coins or you have cards and you just have a good amount of something so here's the methods i have for you so boys i've been noticing a pattern in ltds lately expensive ltds lately not the ltds that are 400k the ltds that are always always over like 700 to 800k so let's go ahead and take a look at him so let's go and take a look at what 97 bojax is currently going for right now because i don't know what his price is it's probably going to be cheap if i'm being completely honest with you 
but uh, it depends. It depends. If it's expensive, then we're in a good spot. So let's go and take a look. He's on the Bears. Eddie Jackson, 97 overall, aka new class. Let's take a look at it. So he is currently going for 500k. So we're not going to look at him. So for example, let's go and take a look at the the NFL honors players. Let's look, let's go and take a look at them because the NFL honors players is who I'm mainly talking about. And we also could get a career tribute or something if somebody ends up retiring. It depends. Obviously, it depends. But here we are. So let's take a look at Justin Jefferson. We'll look at. We'll also take a look at Sauce Gardner. Mainly Sauce Gardner because this just recently happened. So Sauce Gardner, boys, when he first came out, he was two million coins, very expensive, and then uh, obviously he started to drop. Very started to drop. You know, he was in packs for like two or three days. He got to that point. He ended up getting all the way down to 1.1. Guys, he got down to 1.1. And this is, I'm going to tell you guys how I made coins off of this. So basically, boys, the method here, super easy. All you got to do is on day one, when an LTD comes out, whether you're ripping or you just want to buy it, it, it does not matter which way you do. It does matter, actually, because you have to obviously pull it. But... You know, I understand people rip packs to pull them in general, regardless if, of this method or not. So if you're just ripping to pull them and you end up ripping them, I got a method for you. So basically what I did was I pulled Sauce day one right away when he was two mil, sold him. I ended up getting total, I sold him for like 1.7 or something like that because it was later in the day when I pulled him. I ended up getting back like 1.56. Now boys, why is this, why was that a W method? Because boys, on the last day of him being an LTD, he was all the way at 1.1 the very next day what you see right here on my screen he was 1.5 boys you could literally do this repeatedly every time an ltd is out or an expensive one L or an expensive ltd this is the pattern in ltds boys we're gonna be getting um some LTDs this week will take a watch on them. I don't know how it's going to work for the cheaper LTDs, but this is a good method for when there are more expensive LTDs in packs and in this in the auction house. Basically, boys, you could buy them on the third day, buy as many as you want, and the day after, they will skyrocket, or not even the day after, even a week later, if you saw with the playoffs, 97 Jalen Mills, they skyrocketed up to like 1.7 mil. They were at like 1.1 or even 1, or even like 900K. They skyrocketed. You can do the same thing with this, but guys, you have to make sure that LTD is a valid LTD to invest in. It can't just be any LTD. So that's one of my methods for you boys right there. Another method I have for you guys. Guys, when you first get on MUD, try ripping like 100k in trading variety packs. Because I was doing this little method yesterday where I would just hop on the game and just buy 393s quick sell and roll train variety packs i would make 100k i did it like six times throughout the day i would literally just go on madden rip packs get off of it go on like gta or something and then go back on like 30 minutes later rip 100k i was making like 50 to 100k profit every roll every roll i'm not even joking every roll was profit so i don't know maybe try like turning your game off or something like that I i'm telling you boys it was it was working i think that you know just letting your game sit for a little bit not go going on it and then going back to it i think that's how it works i don't know but that's my method for you and um that's pretty much it for this video man if you guys did enjoy this video smash that like button subscribe if you are new boys make sure you guys are grinding make sure you guys are getting all your things done there's a lot of stuff to grind right now believe it or not and it's all to do with field passes solos mutt champs things like that get it done thank you boys for watching this video peace out